Hello and welcome to this Checkmate in Jew chess puzzle. You can see that black just has the king left. White has the four pawns, the two knights and the queen and the king in the corner. It's white's turn. Can you see the checkmate in two? You move the knight to c3, the king can move to f3. You can then come in and check with the queen, but the king still has an escape square, so you can only checkmate in three, not two. There's another checkmate in three if you move the knight to d2. King can move to h3. You can move in and check with the queen, but the king can escape. Then another move the queen checkmates in three. If you move the king to g1, black moves their king to h3. You can actually checkmate in two with the queen, but the king can move to f3. And then checking with the queen means that they still have an escape square. And you can only checkmate in three, not two. If you move the knight to e1. The king can move to h3 and try and check with the queen, but the king still has an escape square and you can only check mate in three by moving the knight back in. Okay, let's take a look at the solution to this one. So please pause the video if you need more time. So to get the checkmate in two for white, what you need to do is move the queen to c1. The king moves to f3, you can then move the queen to d1 to checkmate in two. If the king moves to f5, you can move the queen to c8 to checkmate in two. If the king takes the pawn on h5, you can move the queen to g5 to checkmate in two. And if the king moves to h3, you can again move the queen up to c8 to checkmate in two. Okay, that's it in this video. Please like and subscribe, it will really help out the channel. And I'll see you again soon.